Yes, people, what is going on? Manchester United 3, Sheriff Nail, and the GOAT is back with another goal. I mean, what a performance. I mean, it's a very, very solid performance from Manchester United. We defended really well. I mean, Sheriff had nothing to do, really. David De Gea was just standing there. He hasn't done much the whole game. It was a very convincing performance from Manchester United. A goal from Diego Delote, Marcus Rashford, and Cristiano Ronaldo to wrap up the points. Now the aim is obviously to go to Real Sociedad, win against Real Sociedad, and hopefully we can win the group. So uh, easily we can avoid all these uh, Champions League teams. Uh, but let's just go straight into the players' uh, rating quickly. We can start with David De Gea. David De Gea barely had a touch, in my opinion. Uh, he was actually alone the whole game. I don't think he's done anything. An average six for me hasn't done anything. Wasn't even required uh, to make a save at all. Malasia. So, Terrell Malasia. He started at the left back and switched um, to the right after Dalot was actually withdrawn. It was a calm yet uns. I mean, unspectacular, in my opinion. Like, he was okay, but he helped the, the team retain possession, but he didn't particularly contribute to the team's attacking movements. He has he, he had one chance, I remember, in the first half, uh, which was saved by the goalkeeper. Other than that, I think it was an average performance from Malasia. I would definitely give him a six. Martinez. Played really well in the first half. The defender's uh, physical approach saw him easily deal with Sheriff's attacks. Uh, Martinez was, was actually withdrawn at the uh, at the at the break, so he he hasn't played that much. Uh, Harry Maguire came on for him, presumably, obviously for Sunday's league game in mind. Is that's the reason why I assume he was taken off. Uh, seven for me, but yeah. Close to average for me as well. He was not pushed at all. Lindelof, Victor Lindelof, of course, uh, demonstrated a good distribution from the back. The Swedish international saw a lot of the balls uh, from center backs. There will be a few games where he will spend as much time in the opposition half as he did today. I mean, <clears throat> he didn't have to do much defensively. He was fully attacking, so which is, which is really good to see. Six out of ten for me. Let's move on quickly. And Dalot. Okay, so Dalot had almost nothing to do from a, a defensive point of view, but he spent most of the game in the opposition half. It wasn't a vintage uh, display, but his goal got United started after a difficult opening uh, to the game. So that goal was actually massive for us to open up and start playing well. So. <clears throat> Diallo for me, 6 out of 10. Uh, who else? Okay, so Bruno. Uh, Bruno, I mean, I was disappointed. He was taking a lot of shots from outside the box. But all in all, I think it's an average performance. Ten Hag would have wanted more uh, flair and creativity from Bruno. I'm pretty sure all the fans were asking the same thing. Fernandez provided some moments of quality but could perhaps should have, have contributed more uh to the to the 90 minutes game he played he has to do more in my opinion he has to do more on uh, six out of ten for me let's quickly move forward anthony he put i mean anthony was just doing a 360 at what moment i don't know what he was trying to do <laughs> and then he made a silly pass but uh he produced some exciting runs and caused the sheriff defense several issues with his crossing of course the united fans responded really well when he actually did that turn <laughs> but all in all i think an uh, eight out of ten for me uh, he had one shot save in the first half other than that i don't remember him doing well he really he he, he was actually taken off uh in the 46 minutes as well so he only played one half uh, Ericsson. So I, I really, really like Ericsson. Ericsson is just one of the best midfielders in the game. He, 
he dictated the pace and the flow of the game. He produced some excellent crossfield passes. Eriksen also had some dangerous shots and put in another impressive, impressive display. 8 out of 10 for me. Uh, Casemiro. Okay, so Casemiro, uh, he did really well on the ball and moved quickly without creating many openings. And Casemiro shielded that back four as always. Uh, uh, <clears throat> he was actually forced to win the ball back two or three times, but he did really well. I think Casemiro is just a beast, a beast in that defense. That partnership with Casemiro, Varane, and Martinez is just going to put us way above in the Premier League. I know Varane didn't play today, but I'm talking about in general. That three partnership, that triangle has been really, really solid for us, in my opinion. Uh, Donny van de Vick hasn't done much. Yeah, yes, he did come on, but it's great to see him back. I'm I'm finally happy that to see him back, but he hasn't really uh, got enough minutes to be rating him. But I'm just happy to see him. So he's just going to get an average score of six. Uh, McTominay. McTominay came on in the 62nd minute. His rating is a little bit harsh. Of course, I give him five. Uh, but with the points uh, wrapped up, McTominay had little impact of his contribution in this game. Um, so Marcus Rashford, I think. Luke Shaw. So let's talk about Luke Shaw first. Uh, Luke Shaw also came on uh, in, the, in 62 minutes, I believe. He picked up an assist within like minutes of coming onto the pitch. Just absolutely different class when he's in the, in this kind of form. We're really going to need Luke Shaw to, to keep performing. And I expect him to start in the next game. 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, Marcus Rashford. Okay, Rashford, I think uh, he finally... <clears throat> 8 out of 10. He finally ended his goal drought. That is massive news. And he did really well with the header too. It's not an easy finish. He brought his usual dynamism uh, to the game. And the goal actually will be a much needed confidence booster going into the weekend. So really happy for Rashford for getting his goal. Harry Maguire, another player which I did not want to see. But he is back, guys. He is back. A uh, solid 45 minutes from the captain, of course which was uh, a much needed for him, I guess, to get his confidence back. Hopefully uh, something he can build up, but he wasn't really tested. Sheriff is just not a, a decent opposition to be testing him so that we can actually say he's, he's actually back to his best. Okay, the one and only, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, Cristiano. Of course, he came back to the lineup after being dropped on the weekend for his behavior, which was unacceptable. No matter how you could spin it, it's unacceptable what he did. But he missed an absolute sitter, uh, sitter in this game. But he came close another uh, couple of times, I believe. Uh, by the way, I mean, <clears throat> he, had, he needed that goal. Like, he, he redeemed himself with that goal to make a 3-0 in the uh, 81st minutes uh, his first at all Trafford this season by the way and hopefully he can get his head down kick on from now and I hope Eric Ten Hag continues to start him and continues to use him it's great to see the go back but all in all I would just give him 6 out of 10 an average performance as well he wasn't like outstanding I believe I talked about Martinez okay so no, it's actually Garnacho. So Garnacho is my man of the match. I don't care what anybody says. He is my man of the match. A superb show from uh, the, the youth product on his first start for the Premier League. I mean, it's unbelievable. Garnacho was United's most positive player and his, his ability, I mean, to run at defenders from the left flank is just amazing to see. Uh, he produced some exciting moments of skill and he's already a popular figure with the United fans. You already know, like, this guy has some talent. I think he should get more minutes than Ilanga, for example. And I'm hoping to see him in the weekend as well. My man of the match, Garnacho, 8 out of 10. Okay, I think we've 
finished up everybody we ran down to all the players that is it guys let me know in the comment section who was your man of the match is it Cristiano is it Casemiro is it Christian Eriksen let me know down below I hope I didn't forget anybody else I've covered all the players but big result big result big to see uh Cristiano scoring again and that is it uh leave your comments uh down below like I said who was your man of the match and who do you think should start the next game would you start Cristiano or would you start Rashford up front in our next game leave a comment down below as always smash a like on this on, on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I am out peace